Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. This is day 11 of Craftmas 2021. And today we will be making this Holly Christmas Princess clothespin ornament. She's fun and easy, so let's get started. I've already done some prep work for the Holly Princess clothespin ornament. Um, first of all, I have created the face and the instructions for the face can be found in the Focus on Faces video, and I will link to that. I've also gathered up my jelly roll strip and I set the gathering tool on one, which means that every stitch is a gather or a pleat. So it's gathered up nice and full. And then I have created two pom-poms with a 20 millimeter pom-pom maker from Clover, and I've used this Yarn B Yarn Mini Maker from Hobby Lobby. I've also cut out some pieces from felt. This little strip will become the arms and a heart will become the bodice. Um, this is one yard of six inch wide tool. This will become the petticoat and we are ready to begin. I'll start by coloring in her shoes with this red marker. This is the Tombow dual brush pen. I'm going to color the inside of the foot as well as the outside like this. That looks good. And then next I have folded my six inch length of tool. This is one yard of tool in half and pinned it along the raw edges and I'm going to take a needle and thread and just gather it all up from one end across to the other end. To gather the tool, secure your thread at one end. I like to use a thimble and then just stitch in and out a running stitch in and out through both layers. They don't have to be small stitches. They don't have to be pretty. They, you don't have to be careful. Just do your best to catch both um, layers and down at the bottom there is a fold. I'm sewing about a quarter of an inch down just to be sure that I'm catching both layers. That looks good. And now I'm going to put the skirt around, this is the petticoat, put the petticoat around the clothespin, around probably where the hips would be, but I'm going to place it so that the bottom folded edge is up over her head. Then later we're gonna fold it down. It's the fullness of the skirt and the petticoat that really make her look like a princess instead of just a, a doll or a girl makes her look a little bit special. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to join the ends like this. This is a variation of my Valentine princess, if it seems familiar. Now I'm securing this tightly. Let's see, that looks good. It's not so tight that I can't slide it up and down, but it's pretty tight. Now I'm going to secure my thread. It doesn't have to be perfect because it will be secured with glue. And I'm going to take a minute to distribute the fullness so that the pleats are pretty even. Now I will squeeze some hot glue around here and slide the gathers down into the glue. Distribute the fullness. That looks pretty good and then pull it down like this. Remember, this is the petticoat and it will be underneath the skirt. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty. Just um, try to get it a little bit above the bottom of the shoe. 
I got a little bit of marker on my hands. I hope you're not too distracted. I'm just gonna move ahead. <laughs> Here is the skirt. I just wanna show you how it's going to go, about right like this. I really like these um, post pins. They're from Woodpile Fun. And they have a nice oval shaped head and they have like just sort of a clear demarcation right here. And also on the foot, there's a little angle there. This heart is cut from felt. It's about three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. I used a die cutting machine, but you could just cut it out by hand. I'm gonna apply some glue to the back or to one side of the heart, and I'm going to place it just below her chin. Okay, so now you can see that when I place this around like this, it's going to fill in the space between the heart and the petticoat. I'm cutting off about two and a half inches of this gathered jelly roll strip, and I will begin by applying some glue right to the front below the heart, like that and then I'll place the center of the strip right into the glue. That looks about right. I want enough of this petticoat to show so that it gives a little extra something. And then I'll wrap these edges around the back and I need to have enough so that I can fold this back. I'm not gonna sew it, but I'm gonna overlap and glue it like that. So I'll start with this side like this. And I'll glue that side down first. That looks good. Then I'll apply a little strip of glue along here, like that. And then I'll fold it over so that we have kind of like a hem. And then hopefully this will be the right size. And I can put some glue here to glue this side. And then a little glue right here to attach this and this. Like that. Ready. Now this is a strip of felt that's about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little smaller than a quarter of an inch, and maybe five or about five inches. Yeah, about five inches long. And so I'm going to glue the center of the strip to the back of her neck. And then the arms will come around to the front in a minute. First, I want to decide if I want a bow right here. I have some options for bows. I have a red bow, which is very cute. And then I tied a bow from this striped ribbon, which could also be cute. And then I was thinking this could also go in the back. That's not as cute. We'll just do the little small red ribbon and put it right here at her waist. Now for her hair, I have red pom-poms or blonde pom-poms. I wasn't sure. Do we have enough red? We might have enough red and I could just... The thing about red pom-poms is no matter what you're making, if you have red, yarn, hair, it always looks like Raggedy Ann, doesn't it? So I'll stick with blonde. All right. So I will add a pom-pom to the top of her head. I'm applying the glue to the wood, to the head. Sometimes I put it in the pom-pom, sometimes I put it on the wood. I'm holding it down to secure it. I can tell we need to trim that. There we go. Yeah, I do think the blonde was the right call. And then in the back, I'm gonna add another pom-pom right there. It kind of looks like a ponytail. Now for a hanging loop, I already have my red and white baker's twine on a needle and I'm gonna sew through low. I can feel that it's going through the glue. I like that feeling because I know it's going to be very secure. You don't want to be sewing only through the yarn. There we 
we go. And now because she's a princess, she needs a crown. So I had this little gold filigree bead cap, which will become her crown. I'm gonna apply some glue right there in the bottom and press it into her hair a little bit off center. So about like that. Cute. Now I have um, Holly stickers. You can find these at Michael's and also at Joanne Fabrics. So I think I'm going to overlap her hands and then have her holding the holly in front. Could also add the holly to her crown. That would be cute. But for now, we're just going to overlap her hands and glue them. They may be a little long. I think it's always better to cut something long because you can trim it. If you're too short, you're kind of stuck. There we go. And then I'll glue that to the front of her dress. That looks good. And then I'll glue the holly right over her hands. I chose a jelly roll strip that had a holly pattern in it, just to sort of emphasize her theme. And there we go, she's done. This is our Holly Princess Clothespin Doll. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.